Year-round schools, overcrowded classrooms, and not enough teachers. Many parents here in Southern Nevada are now considering private school as an alternative. And a new law means the state will help you pay for it. The state will give students $5,000 towards private school education. This is not only new for Nevada, I think it's new for the United States. The ACLU wants to put an end to the state's new school voucher program. That the lawsuits claim the program will illegally transfer millions of dollars in public education funds to private schools the majority of which are religious. Did this voucher program violate the Constitution? A state court judge issued a temporary injunction on the new education savings account program. That means nothing changes and no money will be given out to parents. Meanwhile, for families who applied, all they can do is wait. For the longest time, I was feeling uh, powerless. I was hearing the stories from families. You know, my child is reading the same book you know, for a month. My child is being bashed on the head by a teacher. When I saw how these things were not getting solved, I felt really impotent. And I wanted to become part of the solution. Uh, my name is Hergi Yenas. I go by Coco. I said the local director of the Nevada School Choice Partnership. My job is to educate the community on what the ESA is all about. So ESA has been the most universal choice program ever passed in the United States. It exists in 20 plus states in the nation in different forms. Uh, but here, it was any parent, regardless of whether the child has or doesn't have disabilities, whether they're rich or poor, any parent that wants to customize the education of their kids now can. Si usted no tiene dinero para pagar por una escuela privada y si usted no le gusta la escuela pública donde están yendo sus hijos, nosotros le vamos a dar dinero para que usted pueda salirse de ahí y pagar por una opción. Entonces, the money that the state spends any way to educate a pupil, we will give that money, put it in an account for the parent to manage. And then the parent can go ahead and find a private school, a cyber school, or even if they homeschool, find the resources and pay for those resources with the state money. Entonces ya su código postal no dicta el futuro académico y el suceso y el éxito académico de sus niños, sino que tiene opción. One of the things that I've been trying to, to do is make connections with the schools that are located in the areas where people really need solutions. And Mama View Christian happens to be one of those schools that are in the center of a neighborhood with a lot of challenges. Everyone likes to win, but I take it very seriously. If I don't make it to like WNBA basketball, I would actually like to be a veterinarian. I'm really, I really like animals. I went here first through six, and I played basketball throughout those years, and then I left to try public school. I want the best for my granddaughter. When my son got a divorce, Rory started going to public school. She was a different person, harsh, uh, disrespectful. There was a noticeable change in uh, her academic work. At Mountain View, I had A's and B's. I went to public school, my grades started going down. The teachers, they don't care. Like, if I would have a question or something, she'd be like, wait, don't ask me maybe like ask me later or something and we would never get back to it. Nevada is number 49 out of 50 states in terms of public education. The education that she receives here at Mountain View is completely different than what she was receiving in public education. I'd rather be here in private school where I actually feel more comfortable and I, I'm like better here. We were just saying, man, is there some way that we could get her back into Mountain View? However, I'm retired. We're not in you know, financial uh, position to help her. So then the ESA came along. The ESA was really a blessing. It was an answer to a prayer. I filled out the paperwork, and she was approved. And the same day that I brought it in, they announced that uh, there was an injunction. The judge said, uh, you know, put an injunction on the funds. I 
I saw Mr. Sims coming out of the office and you know, head down, letter in hand. And then we started a conversation and I said, you know, uh, don't lose hope. You know, it's not over until it's over. And, and he's, he was really disappointed. If the injunction stands up and there's no funding, then uh, we would have to pull Rory out and she would go back to that environment. Does everybody have their backpacks? Yes. Did you have your violin? You have your book? Wait, yeah. All right. Yep, yep. All right, let's go. My name is Jennifer Carr. There. All fixed. I am a single mother, and uh, I am a plaintiff in the ESA case. There's two reasons that I was motivated to be a plaintiff in the suit. I think personally, you know, I'm a product of the public education system here. My kids are in public schools, and I do worry about what this diversion in funds will do to their school. This is the, the school that the people in our neighborhood, lots of the people in our neighborhood go to. Is it a good school? Um, it's a school that's struggling. So you should give it some money. Well, if I had money, I would. Even with the ESA, they could not go to private school. Even the cheapest private school is about $8,000 to $10,000 a year. So even with the $5,000 from the ESA, you're still three to $5,000 in the hole to send your kid to a private school. Um, and I have three kids, so you know that's just, it's just financially, I can't swing it. So they, they're gonna be in the public school and I wanna make sure they're getting the best education that they can get. Um, certainly, I've availed myself of different public school choices. My kids are at public charter schools. The parents that I know in the neighborhood, they use public schools, partly because there aren't really private s schools nearby. There's two, both of which are faith-based. So it's quite a trek if you wanted to go to a private school. And you live down here. My middle son, Atticus, he has some speech and language delays, some uh, neuromuscular motor control issues. Dad, what did you do with something? No, you didn't. Yeah. Dude, I'm sitting here watching you. I did! I think 60 days is the federal limit for how long you can wait for an occupational therapy evaluation, and we waited that full time. Yeah. So we pay um, about $65 a week for occupational therapy and $20 a week for speech therapy for Atticus. That's in addition to the speech therapy that he receives at school. The school system here, I mean, we're 700 teachers short, uh, frequently short on special education teachers. We're short on speech therapists. We're short on occupational therapists. I think when you already have a school system that is like last in the nation, Taking money away from that system, diverting it to private schools, is just problematic. But I do feel badly for the parents who were counting on the ESAs and signing their kids up for private school. Social groups like ACLU and others understand that when the child leaves the public school system, taking that money with him is gonna make that school that he's leaving poor. Basically, they're saying, if you want to educate your child, you pay for it out of your own pocket. My take is, if you don't have the money, then what do you do? You're out of choices. If this whole program messes up and I have to go back to public school, I actually just try my hardest, but actually, I would really be disappointed. I have not thought about not getting the money. That, that's just how positive I am because this is something that uh, is out of our hands and so I, uh, I believe that it will. I said, I'm not even thinking that it's not going to happen. And I think that people on both sides of this lawsuit recognize that the public school system is not working. I think we just have different ways of approaching the problem or different ideas about how it should be solved. For me, we solved that problem by investing in our, in our public school system. Hopefully one day we'll have all the funding. Hopefully one day we'll have all the teachers we need, great principals, all the resources, all the infrastructure needed to provide a great education. But while that happens, we have a many of choices through ESA that can serve a population that needs it right now today, so why make them wait?